when you when you were going through scholarship IQ, reviewing the old essays, you know, reviewing the CVs, you know, making present, you know, teaching you what to do here and there, um, what were some of the frustrations that you felt, and 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 how did you sort of like you know, navigate those frustrations? Like seriously, with you, I didn't get much more frustration. I was so free because you are so friendly as a mentor. And you're like so freely telling me about my mistake that I'm doing in there. Mm. And you're rectifying it and you're making it so correct. Right. So there are like, you know, before uh, is the time in between after our application. Mm. After finishing our application and uh, we need to write one more application for the Indian embassy. Right. I have mentioned you. That's right. That's why. Right. It is not like for the international wise, but it is only for the Indian students because we are a lot in the population. Mm. So first we need to get to through Indian embassy in India, then mm. we will get into GKS one. Yeah. So for that, uh, that is the frustration point that I would say because we need to rewrite the application for Indian embassy before yeah. clearing GKS. So that time you have helped me and I remember that, you know. You gave me like uh, the clear essay mm. about my experience, my introduction, and everything. And I have put it in there in the, you know, the bracket. And it doesn't take that. <laughs> and I have called you in the midnight one time because I was so frustrated why it is not working out, why I can't able to fill the application because it made a very clear answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not a long essay, but we are asking for the, you know, very clear answer to the yeah. question. So I have woke you up in the middle of the night. First point. <laughs> and the second <laughs> one is you made it like so clear within like five to 10 minutes. Within 15 minutes, you gave me every answer. Yeah. And I have put it in the application and they have accepted it. Right, right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, but what, I, what I would say though is, you know, um, I think that one of the things that you will realize, and, and as you know, as you're applying is there are many things that you did not think of in the process. Mm -hmm. uh, you're like, oh my gosh, I need to do this, I need to do that. And I think, again, I'm going to put use the word resilient is how do you remain calm under that pressure? Because like you had already passed the first stage. And so it was not the, I think it was not the in the, or maybe it was part of the application as well, the in the application that we had to make. And you know that we had no idea before that that was you know part of what had to be done. Um, and when you found out, you know, instead of just you know freaking out and like you know you know what well, maybe this is normal for me, maybe I'm not gonna do this. But it was just around thinking, okay, how can we solve it? You know, what some or some of my friends they make fun of me that I always make the point that there is a solution for every problem, and I really believe that that whenever there is a challenge, it's just about sitting down and thinking, okay, how can we solve this? Um, and I'm glad that that's the attitude that you had as well. Like, how do we resolve this end? So it was not like, okay, you know what? I don't want to apply again. It's okay. This is a problem. How do we solve it? Um, which is, you know, which I'm glad that uh, we're able to like, you know, work through.